The new school year brought with it some new technology for a Kansas City high school. Eric Schultz shows us some of the remarkable changes in the classroom. So we have his courtroom. For sister Suzanne Fitzmorris, it's a whole new way of teaching theology. She's leading a virtual tour of King Herod's palace, and her students are following along on their iPads. You can stand on the ledge of Temptation Monastery and actually look down and see what Jesus saw. When school started last week, everyone here at Cristo Rey High School got one of these. Every teacher and every student. The school bought them with money from a fundraising campaign. And the iPads do much more than give tours of the Holy Land. Several teachers are um, adding so that we use the Edmodo app. that You can turn homework in so you can do it on the iPad. Homework is done and turned in electronically. No more for getting it at home. And there's a new way of taking notes in class. Typing is in, scribbling on paper is out. They can turn in copies of their notes. So at the end of every class, they send me a copy of their notes and I can see, um, are they catching main ideas? And the students are tied to one another over a secure network. For Jasmine Irvin, it meant she could get help with math from a classmate last week from home. You just type a um, friend's email address into the contacts and then you press send and then you'll just the face will pop up. It's a way to bridge the digital divide. At this school, 97% of the students qualify for free or reduced lunch. These aren't families with extra money for electronic devices. Go up to the web page. But this year, they're discovering a whole new world. Eric Schultz, 41 Action News. Well, it really is great to see. Computers for students are becoming more common. In North Kansas City, every high school student will get a MacBook Air. All high school seniors in the Kansas City, Kansas School District get a laptop. And eighth graders at Northwest Middle School each get an iPad. Several other schools and districts say they're looking at providing more computers for students and the teachers.